so if you're doing well today i'm going to be filming a second hand shopping video it seems like forever ago that i last filmed one of these they're probably some of my favorite videos to film they're also some of my favorite videos to watch so yeah i figured that i would update you on everything that i bought second hand recently i think i've got some things from depop some things from ebay some things from charity shops some things from like antique vintage shops just a whole selection of fashion and also some homeware bits as well. I've also got some bigger bits of furniture recently, second hand, and I wouldn't normally include them, but I think I might do today. So I'm just going to crack on and I think I'm probably going to start with fashion because that's a lot easier to show and things are a lot easier to hold up. So firstly is this stripy top, it's from Brandy Melville originally and it's in this kind of burgundy navy blue and white stripe i have a lot of stripy tops as you probably know by now but i don't think that i've got any that have these three colors in it's also got this white ring around the neckline too and yeah i just think it's really really comfortable it's really classic just this with a pair of jeans and like my stan smiths or something it's really simple this i bought on depop i think it was ages ago now um but i think it was about 10 12 pounds because it is brandy melville it's pretty good quality as well i absolutely love brandy melville but i've never been to their kind of store in london i do just buy their things second hand as and when i see them if i see something that i like sticking with stripes i bought this again quite recently on depop and i absolutely love it it's by monkey originally and it's this stripy blue and white shirt it looks a little bit like pajamas it feels a little bit like pajamas but I'm all for that, it's just so comfortable and um, just pairing it with like black trousers, black jeans. It's just really cool, it's really slouchy and it goes with pretty much anything. I feel like it's also a really classic piece, it's something that's probably never going to go out of style. Um, a bit like a white shirt I guess in your closet, if you've got one of them then you're pretty much set. This was £5 on Depop but it did still have the tags on. Pretty much just been wearing this all the time recently, I absolutely love it and it's one of those things that's probably just going to stay in my wardrobe for a really long time. The last top is this jumper from Whistles. It is part wool, part mohair and it's just the most comfortable, cosy thing in the world. She recently, the vast majority of my wardrobe has just been black and white and camel. Again, it's a really nice one to just throw on in the mornings if I'm going to uni or something, just with some like casual tailored trousers or something like that. It is so, so snugly. I bought this again on Depop, I think actually. It was £20, I think, and considering it's kind of whistles and it's proper mohair and everything, it was probably a lot more than that when it was new. I practically live in knitwear at this time of year and this is just a really nice addition to my little collection. Something that is significantly less seasonal are these shorts. I bought these right at the end of summer, um, which may have been a little bit of a silly thing, but they were £1 in a charity shop and I just thought, do you know what, I probably will wear them next year as well. They're just these little kind of nude beigey khaki shorts, they're originally from Gap. And they sit so nicely. They've obviously got quite a high waist and they do sort of flare out a little bit. It's just a really classic, chic kind of fit. Towards the end of the summer, I wore these a couple of times um, with like a white shirt or a white t-shirt just tucked in. And it's just really casual, it's really cool, it's really comfortable. And although I probably won't be wearing them for another few months now, I'm really excited to wear them again next year. Something that I've been having a lot less luck with recently is grey trousers. I've been trying to find the perfect kind of grey, tailored, fitted trousers for the longest, longest time. I've tried the Topshop ones, um, I've bought some second hand, some vintage ones, I've bought some uh, charity shop ones I think as well. I've bought some from Marks and Spencer and now I've bought these and none of them have fit. This is actually the second size of these that I've managed to get. These are from Monkey. I actually bought a pair on Depop and they didn't fit me so those are up for sale on Depop again. Um, these ones I actually bought on eBay, they're a size up and yeah they fit me really really nicely. My only hang up and a lot of places seem to be doing this at the moment is when they make trousers or even jumpers or anything that's got wool in um, but especially trousers, they don't line them so when you're walking around all day you've just got this kind of wall rubbing against your skin and it's really really itchy and really uncomfortable. Up until now I've braved it, I'm not sure maybe when the weather gets really cold or if I could get away with throwing a pair of tights or something underneath because they are a little bit irritating like that but I just think they are such a nice fit. They sit really comfortably on the waist and then they just slim down into this kind of tapered cigarette leg which I think is really flattering and yeah I'm a big big fan of these. Again not very seasonally appropriate but I just had to show these shoes 
shoes. I absolutely love them. They're from And Other Stories. Again, I bought them on Depop, I think. They have been in one of my past videos. That was my weekend away outfit video. And um, So if you want to see them on, go and check that out. I think on the website they actually call these slippers. And you can kind of see why, because they're obviously just a really classic simple slider in this black leather they go with absolutely everything and I just think they're really cute I love them and yeah like I say I bought them on Depop they've still got the price on the bottom and um, so it was £69 when they were new and I bought them for £20 on Depop moving on to furniture and one thing that I did splurge on a little bit is this new vanity I picked it up at an antique shop just down our road and um, because I was walking past there one morning and they had it out and I pretty much fell in love with it straight away. It's just this little G plan that chest of drawers. I guess it probably was originally a bedside table and you could absolutely use it like that again. I personally use it to store my makeup. I've just been sitting at it in the morning, getting ready. I've put this little mirror on top of it. For a long time I had all my makeup stored in a suitcase and I still have got quite a lot of my beauty products stored in the suitcase. I just think that that's a really cool way to store them. So at the moment I'm storing all the beauty products that I use on an everyday basis in the top drawer and then in the bottom drawer I've just got some kind of spares, some things that I don't use all that often but I might want to rotate with the stuff in the top drawer. The other large-ish bit of furniture that we bought was like this kind of bookshelf sort of thing. I don't really know what you'd originally use it for but we use it at the moment to stack shoes. That may be what it was originally used for anyway. This comes in so so handy and it sits in the hallway right next to the front door. We've also got this little wire basket on the top as well which is where we put our keys and umbrellas and things like that. And just anything that we think we might need to grab on our way out so I always have like a little perfume sample in there in case I forget to put perfume on and I just want to spritz a little bit as I'm walking out the door or some lip products or whatever. For a long time we had a big wicker basket with like a lid on it um, to store shoes but that got woodworm pretty badly and it was all disintegrating and all the shoes were being ruined. It's nice to actually have something there that's kind of nice to look at and that was £1.50 in a charity shop that is right next door to our flat so it's always worth going and checking out I think. So I think that that is everything that I have to talk about. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye!